Good evening. How are you? Good. Thank you for coming. We're going to have a great, uh, great class. A lot of fun. All questions are permitted. Some answer only hard. <laughs> the one I don't know, I'll make it up. <laughs> I had the best teachers at the White House for 26 years. <laughs> this class tonight is about chocolate. You already knew that. There's a lot to talk about. A lot of people are scared to work with chocolate. Some people don't know anything about chocolate, but they're still trying. And things don't go their way, and they get frustrated. This is why it's always a good idea to take a class, uh, especially from someone who has done chocolate. So any question you have, please ask. Anything that you may have done and didn't work out, thing that you need explaining or showing, we will I'll be glad to do that. First of all, you have to know there is different kind of chocolate out there. I don't mean brand. The name, the name, you know, the, depends on what you like. You use the kind you like. Uh, but what I mean by that, uh, you have. Um, starting on the bottom, the f fake chocolate, which has no chocolate whatsoever in it, which is produced with paraffin and all sorts of uh, beeswax and all sorts of stretcher, that is, there's no chocolate whatsoever and a lot, a lot of chemical in it. So I would not recommend you go there. Of course, they will show you that you melt that chocolate and use it and it always work out fine because it is no chocolate. Very, very simple. Then you go into the the, uh, the baking chocolate, which is real chocolate, which is actually the earthiest chocolate to eat for snack, probably, because it's slow in cocoa butter. When chocolate is produced from the cocoa part, the fruit is extracted. I'm, I'm doing big chunk of things. I'm not going to de detail, okay? They, when that is extracted, when that is, is, is uh, harvested, then they extract the cocoa, what we know as cocoa powder, and then the cocoa butter, which is the fat in it. And there's a lot of fat in the chocolate itself. And then after to produce the chocolate, this is reconstructed by adding cocoa powder, cocoa butter, sugar, and this is mixed for up to 80, 90 hours of some of the more refined chocolate, up to 90 hours, they go through this machine that works that together for all this time to really blend it well. Now for the milk, then they had milk powder to that. White chocolate, there's no chocolate in it whatsoever again. It's just a blob of fat. <laughs> okay. The same if I put it over the water bath and I kind of go there and talk too long and then the chocolate get too hot. When it gets too hot, this is the thing to cool it off. You can either add more ch chocolate into it, or you can go over a water bath with ice, carefully that no water get into the chocolate, and then so on and so on. So did you understood that process? I think it's very clear and very easy to do, okay? All right, now we have uh, several recipes we want to do right here, and I'm going to, uh, one recipe is called chocolate galette. You find that one. You find it. It's a very fun candy to do. Especially if you have... Well, no, I'm saying it looks good. Yes, yeah, especially if you have children around the house. Children of all ages, they would love it. Uh, and uh, this is a, a, a cool candy to make for any occasion. And then uh, if you have, again, okay, children or people who likes to uh, just uh, work with you in the kitchen. So the chocolate will be melted, see, just like this. And then what we're going to do, uh, you see, I have all sort of dried fruit here. I have raisin, dried apricot, pistachio, dried cherries, walnut. Whatever you fancy on chocolate, you can put it on. Whatever color you want, you can put it on. So we're going to be piping some disc, disc of chocolate. I will show you how to do that. Then I need some hand for me, because we need to go pretty fast. Uh, I 
ಆ 